Okay, hi, and uh, welcome back to the uh, Electronic Music Production with Ableton Live series. So we're up to part nine. So in the previous one, in part eight, we looked at uh, clip envelopes. Um, I think at the end of that, I did say my next one was going to be on a bit of follow action stuff. That's actually coming up in the next one, in part 10. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look at using clip env envelopes and send effects um, on this one. Uh, I'm going to use this drum loop. So we've, I'm basically carrying on with the project that we had at the end of part eight. Uh, so it sounds like this. Okay, so we use the uh, clip envelope to um, it kind of put this gated volume uh, automation on that pad sound. Um, so what I thought we'd do is on the drum loop, let me just play that. Um, so what I thought we'd do on this like little kind of offbeat sort of sound, we're going to send that, um, well, let's send it to a reverb and a delay. So just on that one beat, um, I think we'll do it. So first of all, we've got to make sure you've got a send and return. So I've already got mine set up. If you've not got these on already, what you want to do is right click over here somewhere. And in, in fact, let me get rid of these and I'll do it from scratch for you. So we're going to add in uh, two return tracks. Okay, so all I'm doing here is right clicking and insert return track. You can do it by the shortcut control alt T. Um, so on return track one, um, we will do, where's my instruments? Uh, not instruments, audio effects. Right, we're going to put the ping pong delay on, I'm just going to, I'm not going to use a preset, it's going to use the basic one on return A. Um, and yeah, let's stick a reverb on as well. We'll stick a reverb on return B. Now, what you got to remember with your with your return uh, effects is the dry wet needs to always be up to 100%. I'm going to have the feedback quite high just so we can hear what's happening. I'm going to do the same with the reverb, turn the dry wet up, and we'll have quite a long decay time. Um, so if I just play this, in fact, I'm going to do it on the... Okay, so if I want to turn that up on that beat two, Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so we get just that, that nice delay just going on uh, to that, that beat two, which is, okay, here. So this is our beat two. Um, so we're gonna turn it up for, let's try it on, we'll try it on an eighth note. Okay, so I don't need to worry about all the stuff down here because we've got extra stuff now down here. All I've got to do is send a click on that and it's giving me the a, a modulation there, the envelope for that. Pencil tool, and we're gonna just whack it up there. So if you watch up here now and I play it, that's gonna turn up to full on that beat. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do on this bit here, which I think is gonna be probably a 16th note, I'm going to just whack that over to the reverb. Okay, so I've just clicked on the send B here. You can see it's now changed here. And let's see if I'm right with the 16th. Yeah, okay, that bit there, I'm going to send over to the reverb. Okay, I'm just going to whack the reverb up a little bit more just so you can hear it. Okay, it's a little bit extreme, but um, you get the idea. So we can now play that along with our... Okay, that's a massive reverb. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's how you can obviously use it for our send and return effects. And then really it's just down to your own imagination, you know, working out what you can do, experiment with different effects. Um, obviously there's a lot more you can do with it than that, but that should be enough to, uh, to sort of keep you going and give you another idea for using your um, clip envelopes with send effects. Okay, pretty short this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Usual things all at the end. Please like, subscribe, share around, usual sort of things. If you've got any comments, put them in the box below. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for future videos, um, then put them in the comments as well. Please check out my music on follow me on Spotify, Apple Music or whichever digital music service you use because um, that helps me keep going. And there is a PayPal donation link in the description. If you're feeling generous and want to send me a few quid to help keep the channel going, then feel free to do so. So in the next one, we're going to just look at clip launch properties um, 
and a bit on follow action. So I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.